Mangadai are probably one of the strongest units in the Age of Empires 2. They are fast cavalry archers with some great micro potential, and compared to some other Sith's calf archers, they pack bigger punch and are honestly among the best out there. They even get some extra bonus against Siege, so you can't really distract them with that for too long. Mangodai are a backbone to any post-imperial Mongol army. But how and who were they in reality? Mangadai are not really a type of a warrior, but rather people. Uh, they come from a Mongolian tribe called Mangad. During Genghis Khan's race to power, there was a clear division between the Mangads whether to support him or not. But like most other Mongol tribes, they ultimately joined his conquest, deliberately or by force. In the Mongol Empire, the Mangadai served as the vanguard for its armies. The term vanguard originates with the medieval French avant-garde, meaning the advance guard. At the same time, it is also a term to describe experimental or innovative art or design, pushing the meaning of advance even into art. These units would be the first to engage the enemy, annoying and weakening them for long enough to have the rest of the army take place. The Mongol horsemen were mostly equipped with the light armor and a composite bow or a lance, allowing them quick movement, maneuverability and hit and run tactics. The Mangadai vanguard would provoke the enemy to chase them with a fake retreat only for the main force to appear and massacre the pursuers. This tactic proved to be extra efficient against the armies of Europe, as the heavily armored European knights relied on shock tactics. While the shock tactic is effective against stationary infantry, the light Mongol horsemen would outrun the heavy troops. After a short charge, European horses would lose strength under the weight of the armored knights, making the Mongol jobs relatively easy. When the Mongol Empire started to expand, the Mangots occupied the lands to the Middle East. They would later be a part of the Golden Horde after the Mongol Empire split. In the late 14th century, in somewhat of a civil war in the Empire, they supported the general Nogai against the Khan Tokta. Nogai was one of the most powerful men in Europe, Genghis Khan's descendant, kingmaker and an effective co-ruler of the Golden Horde, who also appears in AoE 2. The Mangadai were subsequently a military corps in armies of Nogai Horde, which was a confederation that would later split off of the Golden Horde. The Nogai Horde would, together with the Tatars, raid Russia, Ukraine and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, among others. These raids were called as Harvesting of the Steppes, main bounty being the Slav slaves, which were later sold in the Kaffa slave market. These raids occurred every year, taking hundreds of thousands of Russians as slaves. Much of their economy was based on selling these slaves to the Egyptians and Ottoman. The Russian undevelopment and the rapid rise of Istanbul to becoming the largest city in Europe in the 16th century and the Ottoman rise to power is largely contributed to these slaves. Apart from their adventures in Russia, in the 18th century the Mangat dynasty took power in the Khanate of Bukhara, transforming it into the Emirate of Bukhara, which would stay until the Soviet intervention in 1920. They used the Arabic word Emir for their leader instead of the title of Khan, since they were not the descendants of Genghis Khan, but based their legitimacy to rule on Islam. So what do you think? Is Mangadai a good representation of the Mongol armies? Should it be something different? Let me know in the comments. And until then, see ya!